The misty haze of a newborn day cleared a path for the encroaching sunlight. The sounds of forest life rode the wind, carrying their songs throughout the land. There is a sense of peace that feels almost alien after leaving the chaos of the city and the stresses of modern life. Water Rock Knob draws in visitors from all over, who hike their way up the trail to marvel at the spectacular view that awaits them at the summit. However, Many of the visitors are unaware of something that lies hidden in the forest. Just a short distance from the Water Rock Knob Overlook rests the remnants of a tragic accident. It all began at the DuPage County Airport, just outside of Chicago, Illinois. The pilot was a successful businessman who had been flying for 25 years. The passenger was his female secretary, who was on her way to North Carolina to visit family for the holiday. Thick storm clouds are moving in, bringing rain and turbulent winds along with poor visibility. At 2.17 p.m., the Cessna 414A Chancellor left the runway and soared off into the sky for the last time. No flight plan had been filed. The plane's altitude fluctuated multiple times as it navigated its way along a route that the pilot had flown numerous times before. Then, radar contact had ceased. Five days later, a man who had been taking a pleasure flight and enjoying the scenery of the Blue Ridge Parkway thought he saw something out of place. Turbulent winds prevented him from flying close enough to make a positive identification, but he had seen something that looked a lot like a crashed plane. The pilot wasted no time in spreading the word to other pilots who were in the area. Soon after hearing the news, another pilot, who worked for the Division of Forestry, was able to fly low enough to be able to confirm that it was indeed a crash site that matched the description of the missing plane. A group of 20 rescuers braved the snow and ice-capped rocks as heavy winds fought against their efforts. They continued the unforgiving trek for an hour before finally reaching the site. And now, almost four decades later, the plane still rests where it had crashed, 
and we are on our way to find it. The plane had flown straight into the side of the mountain. The passenger cabin was mostly intact. However, the tail had been broken off and the cockpit was completely destroyed. Luggage and personal items were thrown about the hillside. A spokesperson from the Civil Air Patrol had said that he was right on course, he was just a little low. Had the plane been just a couple hundred feet higher, it might have cleared the mountain. The bodies of the two occupants were found almost frozen from the cold. The pilot's body was found about 150 feet uphill from the site. The female passenger was found closer to the plane. It is believed that both died instantly. Ten out of ten. Pretty damn cool seeing a crash plane like that. The investigation conducted by federal aviation officials had concluded that the cause of the crash had been a combination of adverse weather conditions and that the pilot's blood alcohol content was 0.04%.
For now, this silent relic of the past rests at its final destination as a cautionary tale. Whether or not the plane is ever removed from the mountainside, it will forever be a part of the history of Water Rock Knob. We fought our way through the hazardous terrain, taking a similar route that the rescuers had taken nearly four decades prior. Even on a beautiful day, with ideal conditions, the hike was brutal and held many obstacles. I couldn't help but think of how difficult it was to reach the site in the snow and cold. During our visit, we took a moment to speak with an employee at the Water Rock Knob Visitor Center. We were told that the Park Service had discussed removing the plane. After hiking to the location and seeing it for ourselves, we wished them the best of luck. Thank <laughs> you. 